dun, 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 dun. old rocks. Really old stones. <laughs> that uh, they're like 5,000 years old. It's so cool to be around. Our refrigerator has been delivered. All right, here's a view of our old fridge before we uninstall it. This is a piece that, was, that I pulled and it just like crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Stornoway on the Isle of Lewis. Interestingly, this naturally protected harbor was first settled by the Vikings back in the 9th century. Today, the area is home to around 10,000 people and a perfect introduction for us to Scotland. Well, today we've gotten off the boat on this windy Scottish day. <laughs> it's quite beautiful out and we're taking a walk around the castle grounds and it is very lovely. Yeah. So green and so many trees. It's very peaceful. Yeah. I like Scotland. So as we're walking around, this area has so many trails. There are mountain bike trails, walking trails, there's like paved trails, dirt trails, and they just go everywhere. There's a nice map like we could spend days walking through the trails here. This is really neat. We were just talking about how the European culture is like, it's much more amenable to walking and outdoor activities like this. Unless it's just this area, but I don't know, this is awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, just to be able to walk around and enjoy a, a park like this. Panda attack. Panda attack! <laughs> attack! Whee! Where is this gonna go? Can I aim this anywhere we want? Do you do it in circles? Wanna try it? Yeah. <laughs> I tried figuring that out too. <laughs> You're not swinging at all. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> Simple pleasures. It is. so gorgeous in here. Walking on this really beautiful path and it goes along the ocean. There's this small little creek that runs through and just very walkable, very pleasant. Nice tree. Back on the boat, it was time for our next project, fridge repair and upgrade. Let's travel in the Way Way Back Machine and remember collecting ice in Greenland. No longer near ice, it's time to install the new fridge we had shipped to us here in Scotland. Our refrigerator has been delivered. So it took like a couple of dock hands to uh, to help us get it on board. But... Right, here's a view of our old fridge before we uninstall it. This was kind of jury-rigged in here. I think they they put a new like evaporator and then they just cut a hole in the side of the fridge and put some sealant around it and then these Freon lines uh, went out to the compressor. This old fridge definitely wasn't the most proper installation. However, it did work for quite some time and we opted to simply wait until it kicked the bucket before we bought a new, which happened a little sooner than we would have hoped. Much left of this fridge. Like, this is a piece that was I pulled and it just like crumbled. <laughs> oh, 
Check this corner out. It is. <laughs> That's the one that is a giant it hole. Is just done. Okay, we are getting the fridge in. Hard part's just expanding that refrigerant line. It's hard copper. So you have to bend it real gently. Bend it straight to get it through where we want to go. And then kind of work the fridge in. Now we're working on the compressor side. So pulled out the old compressor, modified the mounting brackets. I had to like trim some of the older stuff off. There was kind of this big excess piece that was not needed. And here is the new compressor. So mounting it up to the same bracket and it should just be install it uh, right once again. Then all the lines actually are kind of in the same spot. So you make it pretty simple. This blue just goes to the blue on the compressor. This one goes to this yellow and then we have a red label to the red. On this boat, the keel cooler is mounted just below here. That's where this coil of wire is. So yeah, so everything's just right here. She's wired up, turned on. The only thing that doesn't work is... The light, we're like cursed. Our last fridge light didn't work. This fridge light is not working. You have to let me see that item. So pretty. Look how shiny it is, it's a mirror. And look. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, you can feel the coolness. Wow, it's like a proper fridge. Wow. Took us nine hours. And we still have to clean up. But that is pretty damn good. And we still have to figure out this door, which I think we'll do tomorrow. Because this door, can you hold it up? Sure. Covers up the covers up that slam latch. Man, so nice. I feel like too privileged. Do magnets work on it? Oh! No, because it's stainless. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, too bad. <laughs> I wanted to put magnets and stuff on it. Oh, that would have been cool, huh? Yeah, I'm going to be obsessed with like cleaning it all the time. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you get new appliances yeah. and they have like this beautiful surface. Like even when we were putting it in, I saw all of our marks. I was like resisting the urge to like <laughs> wipe it all down. Like we're not gonna see it. We're not gonna see it. Nope. <laughs> the fridge is installed and working. Only thing it doesn't work is the light bulb inside. So that sucks. Not sure what's wrong, but um, hopefully we get a new new bulb assembly. I think something's bad. Uh, so the next thing was to install the door. The door needed to be cut to cut around this handle here. So that's what we just did on the dock was we cut out a nice slot for the little, little cutoff wheel. Wow, and the door is nicer. But this old compressor, I finally found a date on it and it was dated December of 2000. So happy that we got this new one installed. Uh, I'm glad we just went with a new one instead of trying to repair this. I think the new one will last us many, many, many years. Yeah, excited. Insulation went good. That is, we are done with the fridge. spotted the old stones. Old rocks. Kalanish old rocks. Uh, we don't know much about them yet other than 5,000 years old. Yes, they're 5,000 years old and still don't know what they're, they were used for. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Old rocks.
the Kalanish? 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 Kalanish. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really old stones. <laughs> that uh, they're like 5,000 years old. It's so cool to be around something built a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. I mean, they are just stones and grass, <laughs> but knowing that man put them here for some reason 5,000 years ago is just amazing. Yeah, and they had simple tools to get these here, like the amount of brute force to be able to empower and strength to get them here. Unfortunately, we don't know, I think, much about why, so there's just a lot of speculation, but they're oriented kind of like a north, compass. yeah, like northeast, south, and west. The thought is, I guess, that they could have been oriented for wind gods, for prevailing winds here. Um, it's also like a burial site. They found an urn with uh, ashes in the center, and that happened, I guess, a few thousand years after the first stones were laid here. So, and then most interestingly is all these stones were buried really in about a, a meter and a half of, of peat, it's called. So essentially just like new soil. Um, and they excavated down to find all these stones, which is pretty cool. And this isn't the only site. There's two other sites that are within a, about a mile range here that you can walk over to. And it's the same kind of thing where it's just this open park. You can just walk around in and amongst these stones. Yeah. What was your first thought that you had when you saw these? Uh, weird. <laughs> a thousand years when whatever humans are here and they see our old <laughs> what do you think they're gonna say? Weird. <laughs> but yeah, but at least like documentation will be better. I mean, here there's no no documentation. So there's no like written language I that I'm no aware idea. of. There's no yeah. like carvings or markings on the stones that I can see either. Maybe they just worn away. Okay, it is lunchtime. We packed a little to go lunch. Here's the camera lens. Mm -hmm. There's a wonderful gift shop and cafe, but because of COVID, they're not like allowing people to sit inside. You can just go in to get something and you have to go back out. And it's raining and cold and windy. <laughs> so so we found a little bus station or bus, uh, what's this called? A bus stop. stop. Bus stop. A yeah, a bus little stop. shed. <laughs> and it has a, I mean, it has a great view of Scotland here. As the rain's coming down sideways. Pack right. some good sandwiches for lunch. Okay, for Amanda Panda. And what's mine? Mm -hmm. No, they didn't have turkey. It was uh, chicken. If you like this episode, please subscribe. It's free and a great way to help us out. Thanks for watching. Some kind of alien technology. Hmm, fragile. Must be Italian. I have a dingleberry too. <laughs> nice dingleberry.